Half Cut Woodcraft March Challenge. Let's get it done. Okay, so Benji over at Half Cut Woodcraft challenged everyone to make a mallet. So I'm going to base mine off of April's design, um, sort of anyway, at least the size and shape. But I'm also going to put a little flare at the bottom, like my nice rubber mallet, because I really like the feel of that one when I'm hitting things, and I do that quite a lot. So let's go and find some scraps, see what I can do. Okay, so I've got all my bits cut out. I've got my two side bits and my central section, so that's effectively what it's gonna look like. Obviously, this is gonna be a lot smaller when it comes down to sanding and things like that, but that's basically it. And I'm not really making this as a functional mallet. I'm making it more just for a bit of fun. So having it a bit big and bulky doesn't bother me. So I'm just trying to work out how big I want my actual handle. So. If I imagine that like that. Oops. So, probably about there. I've got enough extra, excess there if I need to redo it, which I probably will. Lovely. So, next is just to shave a bit off because it's actually just that little bit too wide for the handle, so I'm going to do that. So what you didn't see was me mark these out, so I've cut this to fit in that gap. Um, obviously I know I need to cut an angle on these anyway, but I did a cross to find centre and then marked up half of each gap just to mark that out. So, that looks good. Quick test of the handle. Look at that. Almost looks like a mallet. Okay, so idiot that was me didn't record, press the record button when I went to put this on. But I've now glued this up, tried to remove as much excess as I can from that inside area. So I've now just got to leave this to, to uh, dry, and I'll probably do some shaping tomorrow. Um, handle. Still fits in perfectly well. Yeah, of course, so well I can't get it back out. Oh, risky. Um, and then, yeah, so I will shape that one tomorrow. I will shape this tomorrow as well. Um, and hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, will have almost a fully functioning hammer. Sounds good, eh? Oh, that's a tight fit. <laughs> that's a beast. <laughs> oh. Hold on, let me adjust you. Too much. Hold on. Hold on. That's better. Right. So stuck that in the super jaws last night just to make sure it's got a good hold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand. I might cut. I could cut um, all the faces flush. Um, and then I'm going to get the shaping done. So the shape that I'm going for is this. So I'm going for a traditional blacksmith's hammer look. Um, probably not going to be functional, like I said, it's more for a showpiece. Um, so hopefully I can get that shape out of this block of wood, and we'll go from there. So let's go. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of blowout there. Shouldn't be too bad, because I'm going to try and round over all these edges and lose them, but two ends all uh, nicely cleaned up. Bottom's not too bad, top's fairly raised, so. I'm going to get the jointer out now, 
go through that one. Okay, so can't find template to go on this for straightingly, so I'm going to attempt to draw what I think this is gonna look like. Now, I'm gonna keep the center a little bit more blocky, so I reckon I'm just gonna about here, there, there, there. I'm gonna draw in those, or sand in those curves. Probably use the oscillating belt, belt sander for that. Keep this slightly more square, and then obviously have a nice flat edge and then sort of round it like that I guess something along those lines and then I'll do something in the middle so let's I'm going to draw this out a little bit now and see how I feel like find it so 30 centimeters in there sorry 30 millimeters in there side there I want them 10 in so that's the maximum depth as well Okay, so you can see I've hogged out that material, so you should hopefully see the shape that is starting to come along now. Um, so I'm now going to get back onto the um, spindle sander, hog that out. I might make them a little bit bigger, I'm not sure yet, but once I've got that space hogged out it's going to be a lot easier. got that put in so I'll smooth that out with some hand filing and I think what I might do is I might actually just leave this nice and solid and then just give it everything a good hand sand now because I don't know how I'm gonna get into those grooves we'll see Okay, so I've done the little shaping of the handle there. Head is all pretty much shaped up. So you can see what it's gonna look like. So all I've got left now to do is to round over all the edges of this just to make it look pretty and more comfortable in the hand and then soften all of the edges on here. Still don't know what to do about that top though. We'll see, but shape is coming on just as I wanted. So let's get going. The whole thing, all the head, um, sanded to 180, and I've done the handle to 240, um, just because I wanted it a little bit smoother. But handle shape, just what I wanted. I might need to clean up the bottom bit just a little bit. It's not quite sitting in as flush as I hoped it would, but almost done. I've got to do the brand on the side. Can't decide whether to do it on both sides. Might as well actually just decided and then I got to figure out how to do the attachment but apart from that nearly finished and I'm loving it 
So, trying to figure out what I'm doing with this groove. And what I've done is I've cut um, a load of cherry, um, which is 11 by 11. So what I'm gonna try and do is inset it into here. I don't quite know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I reckon if I go for something like that, that will hopefully fill most of that gap. I just gotta work out how I'm doing it. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna level with you. The plan of cutting this into a V, inlaying some wood in there, perfectly good plan. Only problem is, I can't execute it. Skills just are not good enough. Could not get it flat, could not get it level. So I went a different route and I hogged out some more and uh, I've left it with a slightly bigger um, indent. So what that means, is that's the hammer now, so on that back section just there, it just means it's got a slightly bigger indent than the rest of them. And to be fair, it doesn't bother me. I own my mistakes, that's one thing that I guarantee that I do. So if I make a mistake, you're gonna know about it. So that's my mistake there, but still looks awesome. So the only thing left to do now is uh, fix it to the actual head. This bit I'm scared about. And there you go, done. One nice, big, hefty mallet, all finished and all ready. Love it, absolutely love it. It's definitely uh, the blacksmith's Thor style that I wanted, and it is a beast. It weighs, but it's, it's just meant to look really cool, and I absolutely love it, and yeah. And also, in my spare time, knocked up a lovely little holder for it as well, to go on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you want to see more of my videos, click in the links there around here somewhere and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.